Alrighty guys, so here's an old Windows 95 game I found hiding somewhere in my house called Risk. It's pretty old and it says Windows 95 on it and it still has its classic case on it. And the disc says it's from 1997. So I'm just gonna open this up and basically I'll show you basically I'm going to I'm basically going to be showing you what happens if you put a Windows 95 game into a Windows 7 PC yep my Windows 7 PC is on right now as you can see the both monitors that I'm using so I'm just gonna move this over to here. This is the CD slash DVD drive on my Windows 7 PC. So as you can see the little green light is flashing on the CD DVD drive. So now let's see. Let's move it over to my DVI monitor and let's zoom in because I know you can't see anything. Tell me if that's better. So, yeah, here's Risk. Come on! I'm guessing this computer is too powerful to run Risk. So now, I'm going to conclude this video by saying that no, it will not work on this PC. I mean, I'm not even sure if all Windows 95 games won't work on this PC. But I know Risk won't. So, so yeah, basically, Risk won't run on my modern Windows 7 PC that's powerful enough to run Black Ops 3. And, yeah, basically what I use my modern PC for is basically, like, for, like, I basically use it for, like, modern games, like, and modern Steam games like Team Fortress 2, Dirty Bomb, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and more. And basically, it won't work here, but I think, but I still on my Windows 2000 desktop, which I'll try and play it on. Because I'm pretty sure it'll run on an, a computer with an operating system as old as Windows 2000 even though the game was designed for Windows 95 because my Windows 2000 PC can run Doom, Wolfenstein, and Quake without any problems. So yeah, soon I may do a video where I try and see if DOS games work on my Windows 7 PC. Basically, I have three DOS games installed on my Windows 2000, which is Doom, Quake, Wolfenstein, and I'm going to try and put them on, like, a flash drive. Because, and yes, my Windows, two, my old Windows 2000 desktop from, like, the late 90s and early 2000s does have USB support. And... So basically I'll copy the games from my Windows 2000 onto like a flash drive and then I'll test it on my Windows 7 and I'll, f I'll put it on YouTube just for you all. So yeah, see you on the next video.